Hey everyone, it's Colin here with the Elmer Fishing Team, and a lot of people on YouTube have been doing videos of their bass top five, and I don't necessarily agree with all their choices, so I'm going to make a video on my personal top five bass lures. So st uh, stay tuned guys. So starting at number five is the soft plastic grub. I put this at number five because I don't use it too much for bass fishing, but I do use it a lot. It's a good multi-species lure, and it's a good thing. Like you say, you're not catching anything on top water frog, or you're not catching anything with your spinner bait or plastic worm or whatever you're using. You can throw you can throw this out just on a jig head, and you can not only catch bass with it, but you can catch larger bluegill, crappies, and even walleye. Number four is a hollow body frog. Frog fishing is probably one of my favorite ways to bass fish because it's the most fun. It's awesome sitting out at six o'clock in the morning. It's just absolutely quiet. The water is just still and just have a huge bass just explode on a frog. It's one of the most fun ways to fish ever. And it's really effective when you're fishing on a lake that has a lot of cabbage and a lot of lily pads and you can't do much, much else. Otherwise you'll snag tons of weeds. And it's just a really good way to fish in the cabbage and extremely fun. So number two and number three is kind of a tie for me, but I put a jig at number three. This is a Strike King jig. This is a swim jig, and this is in bluegill color, which is blue. I'd say I'd say bluegill color jigs and uh, black and blue jigs are probably my favorite colors. And I like using a Havoc Pit Boss as a trailer. Um, as you guys might have known, I can't remember what his name was, but someone won the Bass Masters using these Havoc Pit Bosses. And these things work as great trailers, or you can just rig them by themselves too. So yeah, number three is a bass jig. They're really nice to fish because you can fish them about anywhere, and you can fish them about any time of the year. Number two is a spinnerbait. And a spinnerbait is one of my all-time favorite lures. It's great for targeting bass. If you're fishing, this is awesome bait for if you're fishing a new lake. You don't know where to go, you can just troll the weed line or the shore and you can just uh, cast this out and it's a great bait to target the fish. Really, easy, really great way to find them. This right here is a Strike King spinnerbait. This is also in bluegill color. And you can fish jigs without, a, or not jigs, you can fish spinner baits without a trailer, or you can just throw like a grub on there, or you could even throw like a, a craw or like one of the one of those pit bosses on there. And they're a really great way to fish, and you can catch more than one species on them too. So you can catch, I've caught in tons of northerns on spinner baits too. There is a really great lure, a really great targeting lure. Spot number one is a soft plastic worm, specifically a Cinco type worm. These have to be one of the best lures that produce for me. When I go out to a lake and if I cast out a soft plastic worm, I almost always catch fish. And these are both in watermelon red color. Actually, no, I think one's, one's in green pumpkin, the other one's in watermelon red. And those are probably one of my favorite colors to use. I don't know why, they just work. And I love worms because you can rig them tons of different ways. You can Texas rig them, you can wacky rig them, you can drop shot them. Heck, my dad once even threw a worm as a trailer on a spinnerbait and caught a bass. They're just a really great all around lure and they really produce bass. May not be the most fun way to fish, but for me, it gets me the most fish. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today's video. Um, this has been my Bass Top 5, and I just want to thank for everyone, all of our subscribers, for watching our videos and supporting us. We have 187 subscribers now, we want to shoot for 500, that's our next goal. I uh, just want to thank Reese for making this sweet background, there he is right there. Uh, this is just awesome, sweet avatar too that he made for us, just want to thank him for that. And he's going to be coming up this weekend. 
So that's going to be pretty sweet. And we're going to be doing some bass fishing Saturday morning. Maybe one of the evenings we'll be doing some fishing too. Some northerns or something. But yeah, so thanks for watching guys. And please subscribe for more. And this is going to let you guys know that there may be a giveaway coming up pretty soon. So just stay tuned for that too. Thanks for watching guys.